guys and welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you guys um, a very quick and very simple way how we can import Revit um, buildings or Revit model into IES VE 2019 uh, this might work for later versions as well so uh, right here I have a very simple model if you can see over here um, there is nothing inside I'm going to make some rooms and show you how to do stuff so um, for the floor I'm using normal floor of Revit which is from the architecture tab I have used the architectural floor nothing else um, the ceiling is again very normal ceiling uh, which was the this one the compound ceiling um, what I found out uh, I actually used slab before uh, this one uh, I used slab and I run into some problems uh, which was it wasn't showing on ISV so I decided to just use these ceilings as I don't need anything sophisticated I have added some windows I haven't added any kind of doors I just need some um, daylighting uh, calculations right now I just want to test something so I have just put windows all over so uh, one thing to make sure uh, is that when you just select something for example this wall uh, when I go to properties and come over here there is a room bounding you need to uh, turn it on okay so uh, let me uh, check the ceiling uh, it, it's this room bounding it's turned on so everything should be turned on now let's go to level one and make some walls so I will make some interior walls let's see from here uh, I ju I'm just making some uh, random um, spaces. Let's say like this, like this. Uh, just for showing how it's done. And let's say I want to take it like this. So I have created few spaces inside. Right now, uh, for converting to um, to ISV we can do it in two methods you can either use the rooms or we can go to analyze tab and we can use the spaces it's both the same I have tried with both and they both work uh, I maybe I don't know what's the what's the space like uh, difference in ISV because uh, when I Convert it into as a space it comes as a space, but let's let's do some rooms. Let's see. What's the difference? So uh, we, You have to put your rooms The numbers are coming really large because I have overridden in this space so Once you add some rooms and when you delete it, it's going to be there so in the system it's not gonna um, interfere in your model to convert in ISV but it's going to be there you can just change your room number if you want uh, let's just keep it like this for now so I have these rooms over here um, so you have to come here in the analyze uh, I didn't use space but it's up to you uh, I come here in analyze uh, over here you will see energy settings okay so you need to come here um, you will get this pop-up and uh, make sure these are there edit so just come here there is a building type it's up to you if you want to add any building type over here mine is a school or university um, I didn't do anything over here if you wish to you can so here comes the thing export category what kind of data you are taking so I have done rooms so I am choosing rooms if you have chosen spaces you add spaces detailed elements should be ticked it should be always be ticked and for the building let's come here uh, everything should be turned on 
not like this it should be turned on all of them okay so this method is again for a Revit which doesn't have um, the and the plugin for ISV which is um, the Revit version 2017 and latest okay and newer they don't have plugin for uh, ISV it only existed for 2016 so uh, this is to convert the JBXML file and it's very easy I wish I knew it before um, I didn't know it last year and I struggled a lot so let's say OK and you have to turn on the 3d view so now when you go and export gbxml it's not going to come so just let's do a 3d view and it's going to be available okay uh, you have to choose use room or space volumes okay so now you see your for your model is proper there is everything down here uh, there is nothing to do here just say next and you can save your XML file save and it's done so now I will open my ISV 2019 let's just give it a minute So um, for uploading, for importing this model to ISV, uh, there are two options. One is just going to your blank uh, sheet and then say file and export. There is that way, uh, uh, like go to your file tab and say import and then JBXML. There is that way, another new way is create from BIM file for example you have some data over here like for example some location or any other kind of data uh, maybe the walls maybe something you have changed um, it's better to use the BIM create from BIM okay so they will give you this option this didn't uh, wasn't there in uh, 2018 they have introduced it to 2019 so browse for bim file i have mine over here um, open so they will give you this and you have the options to choose so they are only geometry only so you can import all kinds of stuff i will choose geometry and all data um, including data correctly not assigned to any space okay so any kind of data you have they will convert over here you have these options preview display before importing yes uh, there is also the shell and import in uh, preferences there if there is any column volume and anything I don't have anything over here um, there is also this checks if you want to do valid closed shells and intersentic spaces. What it does is that it checks for uh, any closed shells, but it can be done in the next steps too. So I will just uh, do this. Location and weather you can set over here as well. I am just taking my location which is Abu Dhabi. And HVAC I am just keeping simplified and create project so it's gonna take a bit time so before um, importing it's going to show you uh, what's there if it's correct or not um, there is also the options over here if if you want to change your mind there is this cap volume if you have any kind of uh, gap or anything you can use for that I don't have any there is heel geometry if there is anything wrong you can use this and I will import um, this data is for your uh, um, the logs of the spaces you have it will just come over here what all the spaces you have different kinds of missing area if there is any wrong bounding um, let's import my file
and there you go i have so look at this the numbers which i had in revit uh, in my rooms 45 46 and all it came in ies as that okay these are rooms if i have done spaces it would come as space so let's go to the model viewer to check if everything came fine yes so it came perfectly it's a very simple um geometry just for uh, some analysis so you can uh, convert anything just make sure that it's properly modeled over the revit when we properly model over here uh, we don't need to worry anything uh, for example the core shell inner shell there are some sophisticated stuff but for as a beginner this is more than enough to run uh, or run a trial um, on isv and it works fine